Hello students, uh, welcome to the next lecture of the database. Uh, in the last lecture, we had seen uh, the deadlock prevention and deadlock of the database. Today, we will talk about the database backup and recovery. So, database backup and recovery is based on uh, three uh, major terms. The one is, uh, is a backup, the other is a failure and third is a recovery. So, once the failure occurs, uh, you can only recover the database only if you have backed up your database previously. So, it is important to have a backup of the database. Uh, let's talk about the uh, failure. The failure can be of uh, loss of the volatile storage, can be loss of the secondary storage, can be a system failure, can be a hardware failure, can be a software failure, failure can be anything, a transaction can also fail. <clears throat> so we need to have a, a very uh, strong policy of the database backups so that uh, if any of such failure or uh, loss occurs that can be recovered so let's talk about the loss uh, one uh, is the uh, random access memory loss the loss of the volatile storage the ram stores all the active logs uh, the data buffers and related uh, data that is stores all the transactions that are being currently executed so uh, uh, these uh, transactions are transferred to the secondary storage but uh, just imagine if uh, the transaction fails before they go to the secondary storage then how we can recover it in that case we must have a backup storage uh, backup uh, storage uh, uh, policy so how this can be done uh, the uh, following techniques can be aborted can be adopted in case of the loss of the volatile storage now what we can do is we can have checkpoints at multiple stages so as to save the content of the database periodically uh, this period uh, depends on the database uh, uh, type of database or type of system the emergency uh, I'm, that means the period can be a day there can be one hour can be a five minutes <coughs> can be even a single minute also but we have to periodically uh, store our uh, database we have to take the backup of the database and these uh, periods are called as the checkpoints so next is a stable or uh, active database in the volatile memory can be periodically dump into the stable storage into the secondary storage or uh, the dump can be marked as a log file now what is the difference between uh, dumping the database and marking a log file dumping means we are storing all the transactions all the executions completely and uh, making a log means that we are just making a list of undo and redo operations that what operations were performed uh, how many times they are performed and they have to undo and redo that is a log file <clears throat> so once we have all these uh, uh, backups let's say let's say the checkpoints or the dumps or the log files we can recover the data from these so the recovery can be done uh, from these uh, latest dumps uh, can be done from the redo list or undo list and from the checkpoints also the next type of failures are the catastrophic failures uh, these are the failures that are on to the secondary storage so uh, in the previous we had seen that uh, the primary storage when the primary storage fails uh, we were making backups on to the secondary storage now just imagine if your secondary storage also fails then what can be done so this is called as the catastrophic failure so just to avoid or recover from this catastrophic failure we need to store the data uh, on uh, remote places with the help of the remote network <clears throat> or alternatively we can uh, store the data onto the magnetic tapes so these are the two options um, that can be opted to back up the database and recover from the catastrophic failures uh, one is the storing the data onto the remote place and other is the alternatively storing the data onto the magnetic tapes <clears throat> For the remote backups you can have your uh, local disk and these uh, look from these local disks the data through the network can be stored onto the remote data disks now recovery uh, can be done from the uh, let's say if the system crashes that is known as the crash recovery whenever the system fails the hardware fails uh, the operating system fails uh, so this uh, recovery can be made with the help of again with the help of the checkpoints or with the help of the log files or with the help of the secondary storage <clears throat> failures can be classified classified as a transaction failure a system crash 
or a disk failure so these are the three types of failures that uh, can occur a transaction basically can be aborted or whenever it is executed it is not stored anywhere so this can be recovered by the help of uh, the redo list or by the log files from the log files the transaction can be failed due to any reasons due to logical errors due to system errors due to hardware fail software fail network fear all or can be due to any such reasons and can be recovered with the help of checkpoints and with the help of the log files system crash whenever your hardware or a system software crashes for example the operating system crashes so that's the biggest crash that can occur <clears throat> from such crash uh, we can recover only with the help of the remote database backup or with the help of the uh, magnetic tape backup a similar kind of failure is your disk failure uh, disk failure uh, occurs whenever uh, your hard disk fails secondary storage fails and again to recover from such disk failures we must have a remote uh, backup or we must have the magnetic tape backup so from the remote or from the magnetic tape we can recover so <clears throat> these are all the types of uh, failures uh, backups and uh, recoveries the log based recovery uh, can also be performed uh, whenever your uh, uh, transactions uh, fail so we have the log from the logs we can uh, read the stable state of the transaction till where the transaction has already executed what are the redo and uh, uh, what are the operations that can be performed <coughs> Concurrent transactions can also be recovered with the help of uh, the concurrent uh, uh, checkpoints with the help of the checkpoints. What are the concurrent transactions? These are the simultaneous transactions that uh, are occurring uh, simultaneously. Uh, checkpoints are the best things to recover from these uh, concurrent transactions. So that's all for the lecture we had seen the backup uh, the recovery in different type of failures so you can read the lecture and read the theory notes and uh, you are free to ask any comments and any queries that's it for the day thank you so much